Hey everyone, it's Ashley Gilligan, Independent Manager with Pink Zebra, and this is my official Pink Zebra Family Reunion 2018 haul. I wanna show you guys everything that I am taking home with me um, from reunion. Right now I am in our hotel room in Louisville, Kentucky. It's the last day of uh, reunion, and today is actually workshop day. Unfortunately, I was not able to make it to any of the workshops. Um, my husband and I kind of just decided to uh, take the day to kind of recoup from the past couple of days get everything organized for our drive home tomorrow. Um, and I just wanted plenty of time to prepare for the Paisley Awards and the Great Gatsby party that's going on tonight. So I just thought I'd take this time to show you guys what I got. I'm gonna be going live in my team group here in just a little bit after this video, but I wanted to show you guys first, get that out of the way. So I'm really excited to show you everything that I got from Reunion. There's a lot back here, like that's not even all of it. There's still this side of the table left, you guys. So much stuff, um, a lot of this stuff I did get for free from the company, but there is some stuff that I purchased with my own money that I wanna show you as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this and show you guys everything that I did get. So yay, let's go. Okay, by the way, my husband is just getting back from the store, so you'll probably see him up walking around here. Don't mind him, okay? So the first thing that I will show you guys is just something kind of simple that we got from home office that I definitely appreciate, and that is our um, tester scoops. We got all of the new, um, there's Tricky Treats from the new catalog. We got all of the new um, seasonal fragrances for the fall, which I'm excited about. Um, this is definitely a really great um, business tool that we use as Pink Zebra Independent Consultants to share with our customers and show them all the new fragrances. Um, now, right here, up in this corner here, you'll see the Blend Bash um, bash boxes. And inside those bash boxes, we got three um, bags like this that were empty that we were able to fill with whatever sprinkles we wanted to after the product reveal yesterday. Um, and since my husband and I both got a box, um, theoretically sprink sprinkling, thinking, theoretically thinking, um, we got two Blend Bash boxes, so we got six bags. So I was able to fill um, six of these little bags with some of the new fall fragrances. And so I will tell you, um, I have not written on the back of them yet, but I know I got um, apple vetiver, um, pumpkin pecan pancakes, the raisin nut bread, um, the crepes and berries, maple pumpkin. I'm trying to remember the other one. Got another one. I can't remember the name of it. I should have looked earlier. Um, I don't remember what one I got, but I got six of these bags full of sprinkles. All right, so next, hope you guys can see this okay. This is like the best way I figured I could film this. Um, right here in the front, I got um, all of the samples of sprinkles that go in the bash boxes. So I got the uh, Hope Frosted Sugar Cookie twice because remember we got two boxes. Um, I got a candied cinnamon apple, a maple syrup, a rustling leaves, and an apple pumpkin butter. And these are so, 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 so cute. I really love the, um, the Heroes Hope program. And these are just really adorable. I love how they put the ribbon on there. And you could just tell there was a lot of thought that goes into the quality and um, just the design of these bags in general. So I'm really happy with these. Um, Pink Zebra did an amazing job with these, okay? Um, you guys are probably curious as to what these huge bags are right here. These are, I'm um, pretty sure, quart size baggies, um, but they are full to the brim of sprinkles. This one right here is the Snow Cap Mountains, and this one back here is the um, Bourbon Cream. Both of them are um, some of the new fragrances for the fall catalog. These were only $10 at the Pink Zebra store, and this is the equivalent of at least a full carton. So I got a really good deal on these. Um, at Reunion, um, at the product reveal, they had these giant barrels full of sprinkles that we could fill um, these bags with. And so whatever was left over in those is what they used to fill these quart size baggies. Um, and then back here, I've got two of the soaks um, go cards that came in the bash boxes. Front and center, I've got a carton of the pumpkin pecan pancakes. Um, and then I've got two of these little bourbon bottle um, sprinkles. These are the scent bourbon cream. 
So I got those. Um, and then over here, if you can see, I've got a jar of the Hope Frosted Sugar Cookie. And then I've also got that in the soaks right here in the middle. And then this here, I'll just show you the top here. This is the, um, what do they call this? It's one of the new gray, I think it's called gray knitted simmer pot. Let me, that's the wrong box. That's for the other one. I think it's called gray knitted. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then over here I've got, oh, you can't see that. Let me move you over just a little bit. Over here I've got the vintage floral um, simmer pot. And in that I've got a jar of brown sugar cinnamon, which smells so good. I've got to get another whiff of that. I'll show you the top of this one because it's so pretty. And it's funny because uh, last night at product reveal, when I was looking at all these products out in the lobby, I didn't even notice that there was flowers on this until today I seen it. And I was like, I got to get that super cute right here we've got the cute little dinosaur wooly these are so 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 adorable i really love this he is super cute he's going to actually be a gift for my friend's little boy corbin who loves dinosaurs okay back here i actually have two of these i'm sure you can see that um, i've got the gray pumpkin and what i thought was interesting yesterday at product reveal um, Brittany from home office who is the lead product developer was telling us about um, the words that's on this pumpkin and i can't quote it honestly but um, the words that are on here actually have some meaning to pink zebra and it was something along the lines of um, you know how we all are in a herd and how we all have different stripes and stuff like that so i thought that was really interesting that they actually put something meaningful on this all right so then up here uh is the art or not art the jazz shade uh oh this could end really badly ah my rose ah! okay <laughs> this is my rose that I got presented um, with on stage for being a manager and this is the jazz shade and I actually today had a good chuckle because I thought that this looked really um, interesting when I first seen it and last night at product review I was looking at this up on the shelves and I noticed something different um, about that shade compared to the one that I got and let me just show you what it's supposed to look like because I thought it was pretty hilarious um, and it kind of made me realize that yes something was definitely different with mine it's not a very good picture but as you can see on this one here um, there's a, a man holding a violin or whatever here and back here is a man that has like a trombone um, my man looks like he is just uh, doing some type of karate move so he's missing his instrument which Kind of sucks. I am in a contact home office to see um, if I can submit a trouble ticket about that, but I just thought that was pretty hilarious. Um, honestly, you probably wouldn't know the difference if you've seen this, but it is pretty random that there's a guy playing an instrument here and then a random guy standing there. So there's that. And then I'm really excited about this. This is probably one of my favorite things. This is the burgundy crackle glass. Um, this isn't really a shade. This is more of a simmering light. So you're not going to put this over your warming shade anymore. You're actually going to use this in replace of it. And it does come with the glass dish to hold your sprinkles, which is really awesome. Um, it's just beautiful and it looks so pretty lit up. So I'm happy that I got this. Um, let's see here. Did I show you everything except for the bash boxes? I guess I did. Um, I got a catalog. Um, I also got my um, tag for reunion with my little ribbon or whatever things on it. I also got a um, little Pink Zebra Reunion 2018 pin. So this is just stuff that I'm going to hang on to forever because I just think it's really cool. My husband got one of these for him as well. Um, and I think that's all I got. I'm pretty sure that I'll probably end up finding something. I know I do have a whole bag from my upline of just all kinds of random goodies that she gave me 
to kind of help work my pink zebra business. Um, other than that, we did get a pink zebra work um, book that has a lot of really great information in it and it had like the schedule of events and everything. So did I show you everything? I think that I did. Um, I am going to do a video on these bash boxes. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new so you can see that. Um, these are amazing. This is what it looks like on the inside if you haven't seen it already. Really cute, really great quality. Um, I did find something that we got yesterday, which was fun. Um, yesterday at the presentation in the morning, they um, went around with the little um, sample stick things with apple vetiver and the coconut mint water samples on it, which by the way, these ones smell really good together. So I can't wait to do a mix with these two. But other than that, I think that's all I got from Reunion. I'll probably find something later on today or something. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that I had this video filmed while I had the chance to. Um, as I've said in my other video, um, I was going to Reunion by myself with my husband and my baby. And I don't have my other two kids here with me. So I just wanted to get this posted. Um, and I really hope that you guys can make it to Reunion next year if you did not have a chance to go this year. It's definitely a lot of fun and I definitely recommend it. So start saving your money now and making a plan to go on that trip. Um, tonight at the Paisley Awards, we get to find out where we're going next year. So I really look forward to that. Um, I'm glad that I got to meet so many of you over the past couple of days. It has been just incredible meeting people that I've been friends with for a few years now and I've never got to meet in person. Um, and a lot of you also came to me and said that you watch my videos and that makes me feel really good because the reason I do these videos is to just share this experience with you. So if you are new to my channel, please uh, subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys next year at Reunion. If you went, I hope you had a blast and I'm sure you got all kinds of stuff too. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.